Hey, this is Mary Egbert from Kamaj Fiber Arts and Grow Your Biz, and I'm going to show you how to do video and audio over slides directly on Canva. So head over to your Canva page and click Home. And then you're going to find the slides that you want to do some audio and video over. This is one of my lessons from my intentional marketing strategies class. So let's go ahead and do some video and audio right over these. You're going to go over to uploads and then you will hit record yourself. Up here in the right hand corner, you're going to see um, some camera drop downs. So I either have the USB live camera, which I'm going to use, and it is a webcam. So it's a webcam like this, and it has a USB plug that just fits into your computer, or you can use OBS. You would click here and hit OBS, but my OBS is not connected because I can't use the webcam on Canva and OBS at the same time. So I'm going to go back and click USB Live. If you don't want video, click that again and click No Camera. Now what's going to happen is it's going to pull in the logo that you set up in your Canva. So this is a logo I have. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to, but this logo is going to show up just to let you know. So let me put this back to my face. And then you have the choice of using the microphone from your webcam, or I use, let's see if we can see it. I use this microphone because it sounds better and clearer. So this is the one I'm going to use. If I'm going to use my camera, um, microphone, I would press the live camera. But when you use the microphone on your camera or on your webcam, it just seems a little bit more echoey because the camera is um, probably a good 25 inches away from me. It would have to be a little closer to my face to hear it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start recording. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you that I can take this little circle and I can move it anywhere I want on the screen. But once I start recording, I can't move it. And check this out. Up here is a little arrow. So if I hit it, I'm facing the other way, which I might because I'll turn around and look at the screen. And that way I'm looking into that box and not away from the box. If I click this little um, camera icon, again, it takes the camera away and shows my logo. I'll hit it to bring the camera back. I can hit this to make a big square, but this is my workspace. <laughs> I'm a fiber artist and I'm in my office and I don't want all that extraneous input to the watcher. So I'm gonna change it back to the circle. Um, you can click this little area over here to add some filters, but just to let you know when you add a filter, it sort of bogs down the video a little bit. If you click effect, you can actually do some skin smoothing effect. Again, it sort of bogs down the video a little bit. If you are going to use all these filters, close everything down on your computer so you have all the energy going to Canva. Okay, so let's go ahead and record. So I'm going to hit record and there's going to be a countdown timer. Now it's recording, so I can talk about the slide, making the Facebook algorithm work for you and getting your followers to see you. So once I record that, I can hit done. And once I hit done, I can either delete it or I can save an exit. So I'm going to save an exit because I want you to see what that looks like. Now it's recording, so I can talk. Okay, so I saved and exited it. I had to wait a couple seconds, but you can see down here, here's my little face here and here is my face here. If I click on this, I can sort of um, review it. So watch. About the slide, making the Facebook algorithm work for you and getting your followers to see you. So once I record... Okay, so that one is recorded. Now, let me just tell you something a little bit about recording slide to slide to slide. You want to make sure and save and exit bet between every couple slides because sometimes um, Canva will kick me out. I don't know why, but if it kicks you out, you're going to lose all your work. So let's click into the next one and let's record myself. 
and there I am. So let's go ahead and turn it to the side. I can move this anywhere I like. I already told you that. Um, you can't make the circle any smaller or bigger. It's just kind of what it is. So you're kind of stuck with that. So if you're happy where it is, I may just go up here a little bit. So I'm looking down into the um, frame and I'm going to hit record. All right, and I'm recording. This is the timer that shows how long you're talking. You can delete it if you want. Let me delete that. And then you can start all over. So if you started talking, you're like, oh, I don't like that. Delete it. Just get um, started back at the beginning and record again. Now, if you just want to kind of talk in between slides, so I would take this slide and then I'm going to hit this little arrow and go into the next slide. But again, you can't move this little, you can't move that little circle. So if you want to change that circle, you want to hit done, save and exit, go into the next slide, record yourself, and then move that circle wherever you want and then start recording. So once all my slides are recorded and I'm happy with them, I'm going to go to share, download. You want to download it as an MP4 video or your audio and video will not come through. So if you click all pages, all the pages are clicked. So they will download all 25 pages or you can unclick this and download the pages you like. Let's click all pages, click done, click download and your video is downloading right here. All right, so you're all set. So now you know how to record video and audio directly on Canva through your slides. Mm -hmm.